Why do we wish to ignore our darker emotions? <laughs> because we believe that ignoring them will make them go away, <laughs> which is, uh, as we can see from our previous FAQ, that's not the case. Our dark emotions never go away if we ignore them. But there is this common viewpoint amongst humankind that if you ignore something, it will go away. And sometimes <laughs> it does work with regard to people, you know. <laughs> if you ignore them long enough, sometimes they do go away. But when it comes to our emotions, it never occurs that way. If we ignore them, they will continue to grow generally and they will continue to manipulate and control our behaviour. And so, you know, I feel the re reality is ignoring dark emotions is, is a very dangerous thing to do. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it is the ignorance of dark emotions which causes us then to, to actually take dark actions. So if you, were, if you were not ignorant of your dark emotions, in other words, if you can see them and you know what they are, then every time you feel one of them, you will go, oh, I've got to be careful now. Yeah. I've got to be careful what I'm going to do here now. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You, you, you have a tendency to be able to police yourself to a degree. But if you ignore your dark emotions, you, you won't even sometimes, and most of the time, be aware of them and your thoughts will be more along the line of, go, of justifying their existence. Yeah. So you'll say to yourself things like, oh, I feel like killing that person and no wonder, look at the person. You, know? <laughs> you, 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 you won't even see that that's a dark emotion within yourself caused by something within yourself. You'll think it's caused by somebody outside of you. You'll think it's somebody else's fault that you feel this way. Yeah. And that's a very dangerous thing to do. Yeah. Because when you start blaming other people or thinking it's someone else's fault that you feel certain things, you are not taking personal responsibility for your own emotions. And once that happens, you're in a very, you know, it's a very short distance between that and actually taking action on your dark mm -hmm. emotions. And it's very, very dangerous uh, on a lot of levels, for your soul in particular. Mm. And, but also for the soul of others. Every, every single person that you damage with your, you know, acting out your dark emotions is another person that feels pain uh, as a result of your actions and, and they then have to go through their own experience of having to release their emotions about what you did yeah. and that, that just puts terrible burdens on other people. Mm. So, so not only are you harming yourself but you're also harming all of the people that you've now interacted with using these dark emotions in your interactions. Mm. Yeah. So you said at the beginning we want to ignore the dark emotions because we're hoping they'll go away. Mm. And is that just because they feel unpleasant to feel or is it because we have other issues of shame and judgment? Oh, or, yeah, of course. Why? You know, we want them why? to go away for, for like a hundred reasons, <laughs> you know. Some of them are that we feel that we're not a very good person if they have them, so we feel terrible feelings of guilt and shame about having, have, about having these dark feelings and emotions inside of us. Or it could be just we're afraid we, that we're not that afraid of having the dark emotion inside of us. We're just concerned that other people might see it, you know, yeah. that other people might think that it's terrible. And we have all sorts of judgments and we also take on society's judgments of some emotions. And so we, we also, you know, if they think this is bad, then we think it's bad. If they think it's good, we think it's good. Mm -hmm. And and some of the things society thinks is good is actually dark emotions, <laughs> unfortunately. And yeah. so we'll be often distorted in, yeah. our, in our reasoning when it comes to what is da a dark emotion from God's perspective and what, is an, uh, 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 and what I'd classify as an evil emotion, if you like, from God's perspective, and what is a good or, or loving emotion from God's perspective. We often have huge distortions about that. So we have a lot of judgment about what is good and bad. So, so for example, a person who has homosexual feelings, who has been brought up in a Christian household, believes that their homosexual feelings are evil mm -hmm. or, or bad or mm -hmm. dark. Mm -hmm. But the reality is God created these kind of feelings mm -hmm. and, uh, and so the reality is from God's perspective is they're okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. Uh, but because the environment of the child is that they believed it was dark, now the child believes it's dark. So we have a lot of distortions about what is good, what is evil. Anything obviously from God's perspective that is unloving is usually driven by an evil or a dark emotion. Mm -hmm. And I'll use the term evil purposefully because all evil that has ever been created, which is the damage of other people through the exercise of your will, 
has all been created because of some dark emotion that's been suppressed inside the individual and hasn't been allowed to be feel, mm. felt. Mm -hmm. So we're better off feeling them than we are acting upon them. Mm. And it's a very, very different state to feel them and act upon them. So this, this habit that everyone is in, or this deep desire that everyone has to ignore these darker emotions that are inside of us, seem to be a huge stumbling block to society as a, as yes. a whole, and a, kind of a global or societal issue that, that as children we're not taught to feel our dark emotions rather than... Yes, we're taught to them. suppress them, we're taught to yeah. deny them, we're taught to judge them, we're taught to you know, try to make them go away. The, 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 there are some parents, of course, who do the opposite, mm. who actually teach their children to act upon dark emotions because yeah. they themselves do that. Yeah. It just depends on our upbringing as to what we're taught. But the average person on the planet has some semblance of conscience mm -hmm. and so therefore some semblance of, uh, of internal gauge as to what is good and what is not. Uh, often it's heavily distorted, of course, yeah. but, but as a result, anything that the average person sees as not good, generally there's a lot of judgment on the planet about. Mm -hmm. So if the average person on earth is challenged by homosexuality, they believe that homosexuality is bad. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with what God thinks about the issue. It's got everything to do with what people generally in society feel about the issue. And this is the, this is the unfortunate thing. We judge a lot of what are good and decent emotions from God's perspective as bad and then we judge a lot of what are quite evil emotions as good yeah. and then we judge uh, a lot of stuff that is bad as really, really, really bad and, and all of it we try to suppress <laughs> and so of course we're confused yeah. and of course we don't know what we're doing most of the time with the days, during the day and of course we're going to act through the dominance of our soul that's being suppressed and resist, yeah. resisted and so this is why we end up taking a lot of very dark actions. And even as a society, we end up taking dark actions. You know, we're, we're willing to go to war as an entire nation mm. in order, which is a, an act of the entire nation, really, justified by a dark emotion. Mm. And, and these, all of these justifications come from these dark emotions. And so it is imperative if we ever want to become at one with God, and if we ever want to become loving, it's imperative to release these dark emotions from us so they no longer govern our life. And the first step in doing that is presumably to stop ignoring that they're there. Correct. You've got to stop denial. Yeah. Stop suppression. Stop, stop saying to yourself, I don't have any. Because <laughs> if you didn't have any and everybody in the world didn't have any, then there wouldn't be any problems in the world. Yeah. We'd all be in loving interactions with each other and everyone would be happy. <laughs> so yeah. the reality is we have them. And even in a standard relationship or a standard family, there's plenty of dark emotions. You know, you can just see them. So start dealing with them. Mm. Start acknowledging they're there. You know, I once said to somebody, it's, all of our dark emotions are like, and I use the term shit, in the middle of a room. And like a pile of it in the middle of the room. You know, yep. a, pile of, a pile of poo in the middle of the room. It's all smelly. Everybody knows it's there. And everyone walks around saying it's not there. Yep. And that, that nothing smells. <laughs> and unfortunately that's how we treat our dark emotions most of the time we're going around saying it's not there, it's not there, nothing smells, nothing smells when it stinks to high heaven <laughs> and it's created like lots of problems in our lives and it creates lots of problems still in our lives and yet we're still going around saying no, no, it's not there, it's not there, it doesn't stink, it doesn't stink yep. you know, and yep. it's just crazy yep. and it's amazing how uh, I, sometimes I feel it's just so amazing how um, like firm we are about our denial mm -hmm. like like things have to get pretty bad sometimes before we go oh maybe that's <laughs> that's the reason why you know that yeah. dark emotion might be the reason why i felt that way or you know and you you often see violence in a household whether it's towards children or 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 between partners you often see you know that's all driven by dark emotion you often see people lying and stealing and cheating and and, and all sorts of, that's all driven by dark emotion they're all emotions we can get rid of. They're mm -hmm. all emotions that are not a part of our soul, that we can, get, we can let them go, but they're in our soul. And while they're in our soul, they will dictate through dominates. They will dictate the rest of our life until we release them. Mm. Mm. Mm.